guys, Cool Brick here, and right now I have my grocery store mock. So let's get started. Uh, in the front here, we have uh, two parking spaces. I just have my pickup truck mock right here, just to show that these do fit cars, and they're, they only fit uh, four wide though, because uh, they're six wide with the wheels. And that's exactly how wide the parking spaces are. So I'll just move this out of the way. You don't need this guy. And right here, we have the shopping carts. These are kind of big and clunky, but I wanted to do my own design. For these, I didn't want to steal anybody's design. So I came up with my own thing. It's pretty simple. Uh, the handle is kind of big but you have to make some sacrifices. This is the area for parking the shopping carts. That is supposed to be a sign with the shopping cart on it. Fail, I know, but there's only so much you can do with a three by three space. All right, so going on with the front, Let's zoom in here, there's a uh, kind of just a container kind of thing, an angled container for uh, holding some fresh fruits and vegetables. And uh, over here, this is the sensor for the for this uh, sliding door. The only problem with this is that it gets stuck on the way back. I uh, still haven't figured out how to fix that. You have to put your finger in from the back also when you remove the roof to make sure it's aligned properly. Cause it hits these uh, slopes in here, unfortunately. Uh, that's about the only thing I can complain about with this mall. And this is this side, pretty boring. Uh, and the back. Uh, the colors I use for this, the technical names, the wall color is dark orange. These are sand blue. And these pieces are the reason why this thing cost so much because they are in a very rare color uh, they cost a lot of money so just for this ring of sand blue slopes along the edge it costs like 25 bucks which is really stupid of me to have spent that much money just on that but yeah I'm not gonna do that again but it's it's pretty cool having such a rare color on that and it was also, if you're wondering why I have all of these 1x2s here and up here on the roof, it's because it was a lot cheaper to do that than to get 2x4s. Uh, four 1x2s four was cheaper than uh, one 2x4. So back to the front. And this is the roof. Very easy to remove. No studs holding this on. It's just, there's just these corner plates that keep it in place. Uh, some skylights and just some ducts, some air conditioning or something. Not totally sure. And then get to... so this is the interior. Let's see if I can get this closer. So the interior includes two shelves. So that was just about all I could fit. Pretty cramped in here. The space between these is three studs, which is just enough to fit a shopping cart. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, also, this is the uh, drinks, refrigerator thing, some bread over here. And if I turn this, this is the cashier. And uh, I can show you the stuff in the shelves in detail. The, I made these really easy to remove. It only held on by four studs. So uh, on these I have some uh, drumsticks, croissants. Those are supposed to be random containers of food. And same with those packages of food. Uh, I got lazy, didn't have any creative juices. Some uh, bottles. That was the best way I could think of to have them stacked, if you will, over there. And then over here, there's another one of these 
more food containers, some, this one's more of like, uh, foodware stuff, some pots, pots and pans, mugs, and, uh, two of these plate pieces, these mini fig dishes, these are interesting pieces, I have a couple of these in metallic gold, as well as in this color, so put the, put this thing back, Oh, I see, I put this in backwards. And this one I didn't make to remove it very well. The other ones I did, but this I didn't. Oh, here we go. So this is just a cashier's counter. You have the shelves here. Some stores have like little products like gum or candy in there. But uh, it's totally smooth, so I didn't want to put anything in there because it'll just fall out. And then you just have a uh, cash register piece and that dark bluish gray thing. Let's just say that's a receipt maker. I'll just say that's what it is because I'm not totally sure myself. I just make stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing. So anyway, that's about it for my grocery store. Please tell me what you guys think and uh, comment, like, and subscribe.